It's a fifth gear right now. And drive fifth gear and I get that. Let me show you. So here's first. That's first. What? Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. No way. Fifth. It's not bogging out. I'm in fifth gear right now. That's nuts! That was fifth.
Tacoma with our Marlin Crawler Taco Box system. This one having triple transfer cases at a 580 to 1 ratio. We're going to leave the truck open open and see what happens if the tires slide a little. As you can see, there's no one inside. Don't need brakes. With, with the gearing multiplication from the Marlin Crawler, we're also magnifying the engine compression braking by the same ratio. So compared to a one-to-one -one ratio, the engine compression braking is 580 times greater. This is the, the control that you get from a Marlin crawler. You don't need any brakes. You just let the extreme gearing magnify the compression braking from the engine to hold the weight of the vehicle back. And it's that easy with a Marlin crawler taco box. Alright, next I'd like to show the downhill control the Taco Box provides from this off camber corner entry downhill section. This is our most common dual case Taco Box crawl ratio, which for my truck with 529 ring pinions is a 254 to 1 ratio, or about 6 times more control than factory. I'm going to let the truck idle on its own with no brakes and no lockers and check this out That was no brakes, no lockers, just total confidence in the Marlin Crawler Taco Box. Okay, let's do one more walk in the crawler down this five foot ledge. This will be no driver, no brakes, no locker. Let's see how it does. Mike's just really bored out here. He doesn't want to drive his truck anymore. He's just going to let it drive on its own. You could see that the tire didn't stop. It was skidding while also slowly rotating which is the same working principle used by ABS brake system. So controlled. This is how the taco box manages more traction and safety downhill than compared to standing hard on the brake pedal. Even Mike's truck's tire comes off the ground.
1,300 to one. I could I could ship into fifth gear right now and drive fifth gear. And I get that let me show you. Let me, let me show you. No way. Dude, this guy is a legend. Dude, I love him. Dude, you are the man, dude. This is, uh, dude, legend. Into fifth gear. No way. Right what? I will show you fifth gear, and I will not hit that. That is insane. Oh, I can't wait to see this. Oh man, the legend, Marlon himself. Michael, go ahead. You're clear. Thank you. It's not bogging out. I'm in fifth gear right now. That's nuts. That was fifth. Here is reverse. Now reverse grinds. Reverse is going to grind. Because it's a spur. Gear. Right. But I'll go right now. No way. Oh. Look how slow it's moving. Six, six grand up against the computer. Oh my god. So when you're out four wheeling, this is. You know, oh, it just you would you would never use that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That is, uh, but just to have it is amazing. Yeah, just to have it. So there's fifth. That's insane. Uh, the fifth. That's fifth. The guys, in fifth right now. It's going to like a, a that half a mile an hour. Fifth. <laughs> that's insane. I've never even seen something like that. Isn't that crazy? Wow, that's insane. And then I just shift out of them, and here is regular. That's impressive. Wow, dude, that is so cool. <laughs> crazy dude. things you can do. Dude, that's awesome. That doesn't do anything for off wheeling, but, but still, it's slick. Back in the day, it was. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. God, look at that. Look at that, guys. God, he went into fifth gear within five, no, within 10 feet. And I think he had fifth gear around six feet. All right, there's the baby. There's the one this little car was modeled after the big one. That's so cool. I know, I have that one at the shop, but not the big one. I got one of those. I know, right? Can't get one of these. Yeah, or him. He is a, that guy is a trip. I love him, man. He's awesome. Legend.